Hi everyone, um, my name is Randy, RC for short. Um, I was looking for a battery charger recently because I was tired of waiting for an hour for my other one to work, the one that I got with my um, Madhawk. Um, so I looked at the reviews that Mark did and liked the Sky Charger, the B6 AC Plus charger that he uh, reviewed. So I ordered that one. Um, and I'm not going to go over all the stuff that Mark covered because he did a really thorough job. But what I wanted to do was go over uh, the installation of the software that you can download from Xheli and monitor your uh, battery charging online. So that's what I'm going to do uh, in this little video. The plugs you're going to need are um, obviously this one for your um, LiPos. Um, and the USB interface, there's uh, two plugs. One end goes into the charger and then one end goes into the the USB connection that goes to your PC. Okay so I got my one cable plugged into my USB connector. Um, this little business end goes into the uh, charger right where the temperature sensor display is right in there. Now we're ready to power it up and charge a battery, and I'll show you what the software. Sorry looks like. about all the flickering. I'm not sure I can uh, I can stop that. I'll try and get it out in uh, post edit, as they say at work. Um, after you've downloaded the um, software and unzipped it to your desktop, uh, there's a couple of things in there that you should notice right away, and pull out. One is the manual. Um, pop that open because it has step by steps to walk you through the installation process. Uh, and the other one is the um, sn.txt file and that has the um, serial number that you're going to need to activate the software. So once you do that, you get the software installed and you pop it open and here's your charger monitor. It has a log save path and then an open log path um, that lets you open previously saved files. Um, the first thing it's going to ask you to do is um, ask for a, a save file path and it just tells it where it's going to be storing the files that you're going to uh, save. Another thing that you should take note of is this um, com file right here. If you go through the directions and you follow them properly you'll be able to um, locate the driver and the driver file for this particular charger monitor has a COM designation, COM1, 2, 3, or 4. Mine has COM4, so you have to go to this um, menu, this drop down menu, and make sure that it jives with what your driver is. Okay, so I've got my uh, Sky Charger powered up, I've got my USB interface cable plugged into the front of my PC, um, I've got my software open right there, and then I'm going to hook up a battery and uh, fire up that software. Okay, as you can see, I've got my battery hooked up. Um, you guys are probably going to think this is anal, but I've got them labeled A, B, and uh, C based on uh, the date I bought them, just so I can kind of get a grasp on their age. And uh, plus, I'll be saving them in my software as uh, A, B, and C so I can monitor their, their uh, demise over time. Okay, the cycle I've selected, I'm not sure you'll be able to read it, but it's a uh, LiPo balance, and I'm going to give it one amp. It's a 1000 uh, mAh uh, capacity, and it's all plugged in, so you just hit the start button, two beeps, battery check, um, confirm, press enter, and away we go. Um, <clears throat> this bottom chart is pretty cool. It shows the current that's going into your batteries. Um, the closer you get to the, the full capacity of the battery, uh, the less current is placed to the battery. So right now it's at 0.74 and it'll continue to drop um, as the battery reaches full capacity. Going back to the detail window, I was monitoring the uh, capacity, but uh, selection buttons on the side also let you monitor the voltage, the current, which you can see is steadily dropping as the battery becomes uh, full, um, capacity, which is almost up there, um, and then the temperature, which has remained constant. But let's go back to this current thing. Look at that spike right here. I don't know what happened there or what caused that, but it's unusual. Usually it's a steady progression down. 
All right, this is battery B. Um, you can see up in the corner it's at 3.86 to start. So again, I haven't discharged my batteries fully. Battery A came out really good. It took the process, I think, took about 17 minutes total. Well, here's an interesting um, event right here in the um, current area. I had a similar uh, drop in voltage on battery A. Let's see what the detail looks like here. That big spike right there just dropped it right down to like almost zero voltage. I'm not sure what's causing that, but I had a similar event on uh, battery A at about the nine minute mark. So uh, I'm curious as to why that's going on. I'll have to ask uh, TC Programmer is uh, his call sign on the forum. So here's the result um, from battery B. My charge monitor um, tells me that the charge process is complete. I maxed out at 420. It's okay there. You can see at the top this one maxed out at what 428 milliamps. Now that really confuses me because uh, the battery is rated at 1000. So I don't know. I'm going to do battery C and see how that one swaps out. Okay, so there's the end of uh, battery B, and you can see the results. Um, all in all, I really like the software. Uh, I hope I've explained some things for you guys. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to post it on the forum. And if anybody can uh, tell me what the, the other plugs are for and how to hook up that temperature sensor, I'd appreciate that as well. Uh, I'll see you guys.